Are you letting stuff come between you and God? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today, you know, we're, we're continuing in our series on the Beatitudes. And, and the one we're talking about today is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, which says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Now, pure means like clean. So blessed are the pure in heart means blessed are those who keep their hearts clean, the people who, who don't fill their hearts with nasty stuff. Because the more nasty stuff you've got in your heart, the harder it is to hear God, the harder it is to feel God. The truth is that we all sin. But when you accept the free gift of salvation, when it comes to eternal life with God, it's Jesus' purity that counts. All of us are going to sin. None of us have earned our way into heaven. But the more nasty stuff you allow into your heart, the harder it will be to feel God here and now. So in my neighborhood, we've got, we've got pretty good neighbors. And, and the guy who lives right next door to us, he's, he's kind of an older guy. His name is Terry, and he has just a beautiful garden. He's a really nice guy. He loves talking to us. But, but Terry has this really, really weird habit of like walking away right in the middle of a conversation. And it's not like he's just done with the conversation. It, he, he walks away, and he still wants to talk to you just from really, really far away. And it kind of drives my dad crazy because as they're talking, Terry will just be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And then at a certain point, he just can't hear at all anymore because he's gone all the way around the side of his house. And my dad doesn't like to be very loud. And so when Terry walks away, my dad just like stops talking and waits for Terry to come back. And pretty much every single conversation that we have with Terry, at some point, he'll be like, what was that? From really far away. And we're like, well, you can't hear us because you went away from us. And you know, there's so many times where in our lives we feel like, like God isn't there, you know? But let me tell you something. God has not gone anywhere. When we can't feel God or see God or, or hear God, I think that most of the time, it's because we have walked away. We have allowed ourselves to get caught up in stuff that doesn't matter. Or worse, stuff that is really bad for our hearts. You know, sometimes if you're, if you're really trying to keep your heart clean, if you're really trying to keep your heart pure, some people might look down on you. You know, there might be a time where, you know, your friends get a, they want to go to like see a movie. And when they tell you what movie they want to see, you, you realize that you really can't go see that movie because it's got lots of bad stuff in it. And they might think, oh, well, poor you. You can't see this movie with us and have fun. But Jesus is not saying poor you. Jesus says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. What's more important than that? And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would keep your hearts pure, that you would keep your hearts clean, that you would stay close to God and not wander farther and farther and farther away from him. Not because God will abandon you if your hearts are not pure, but because I don't want you to abandon God. Does that make sense? The less nasty stuff we allow to live in our hearts, the more clearly we can see God. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God.